Okay. I am here today to talk about comics. This is not something I commonly talk about on my channel. I usually talk about video games, but I myself am a comic artist and I post to websites like Webtoons and used to post to websites like Topastic. And I just wanted to talk about something real quick today that has happened. You may have heard about it if you are in the comic scene. But if not, you know, I'm just going to talk about it a little bit. So, Webtoons has recently made it mandatory for all comic artists to rate your comic. Um, this is something that if handled correctly, I find actually very beneficial. I actually think having a rating system for your website, for your comics, is actually a good thing. Um, I think that having more information for your readers is safe. I think that is good um, because I want to show something about Topastic real quick. And and as you can see, so uh, quick side tangent, um, right here on my webcomic, this is my webcomic, by the way, uh, my webcomic, Last Loving Souls, which is about zombies and stuff. So it, it is rated young adult. So 16 year old, it, it would be the equivalent of a uh, I guess a mature 16 or older. I guess that is the same as a what is the age rating for a mature video game? Uh, rating. 17 and older? Okay, so I'd say that's about equivalent. Close to uh, equivalent for a mature uh, video game. Which I would agree. I would say that is accurate. Anyways, sorry. Getting back to things. So... Webtoons has an age rating. Topastic does not have an age rating or any kind of rating on their comics. So if you click on any comic at all, uh, I'm not going to give any of this shill uh, service. Nah, I'm going to I'm going to shoot out my friends. Uh, Sephora's comic, Oni Fox. Uh, so if you click on Oni Fox, for instance, which is a great comic, uh, you should read it. Um, you get hashtags about what it is. Action, comedy, humor, uh, <laughs> swords, uh, updates Tuesdays and Saturdays. But there isn't anywhere that lists age range. Uh, hers would definitely be for a, yo a young audience. I would say, according to Webtoons, hers would be all ages. I would say hers is an all ages comic. But nowhere does it say, you know, all ages. There's there's no all ages uh, type of thing. Read her comic. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. They have plenty of distinctions, and they have a mature category, um, which Webtoons does not have. So I guess they just have <laughs> everything and mature, <laughs> um, which I guess is one way you can do it. Um, but I'd rather there be more distinctions like, you know, all ages or teen or young adult and then mature. Um, anyways, I should get off this before YouTube fucking explodes me. 
Um, anyways, so back to Webtoons. So Webtoons kind of takes it in a different direction, and unfortunately, they they have a solution, but it's not a good solution. So they have a rating, but unfortunately, it is very tiny. It's very small, and it is only in the description. So if you go to, you know, comics, all these comics, do you see age ratings on any of these comics? No. No, no fucking clue what they are. No fucking clue. You have to click on them, go into the description, and see this teeny, tiny, itty, bitty little age rating. It, there's no, like, visual symbol. There's no, like, Y, A, E, Y, you know, M, nothing. Nothing. No visual for the age rating of any of these comics. You have no clue what the age rating is for any of these. My second issue with this age rating is how it is uh, determined. So to, to determine your age rating, you have to make this little questionnaire, um, which is not very, it's not great. It's, it's not great. <laughs> Let's go through it together real quick. So violent and graphic content. It's, it's on a, all of these are on a one, a zero to three scale. Violent and graphic content. No violence, plus none. So you got kitty cats. But even cats, you know, scratch each other. Mild or fantasy blood in a few episodes. Violent themes with moderate blood or gore. Detailed violence, blood or gore. Okay, so I guess that one is supposed to be like Mortal Kombat, I guess. I personally selected two, but they could call me out for three. Again, what is considered detailed violence? What is considered detailed violence? Like, look, look at my, look at my th thumbnail. Is that considered detailed violence? I don't know. Nudity. This one is also the one that is really, uh, I don't know, man. Zero nudity. Some characters in minimal clothing. They consider that bathing suit, lingerie, non-sexual themes. So, just a character I in lingerie, but that is considered non-sexual. Okay, so I guess someone in a robe coming out of the shower. Comedic nudity with strategic censoring. So I guess they are considering that the Ava gag where uh, Shinji is standing there with the with the uh, beer can in front of his uh, nether regions. Fan service panel panels, i.e. minimal clothing in sexual posing. Sexually suggestive themes. So what, pasties, I guess? Okay. I I think I picked Yeah, I think I picked this one cuz someone comes out of the shower in one of my panels. And that's considered non-sexual. Uh yeah. Sexual content. No sexual content, mild sexual theme. Sexual content or innuendos, sexual content and sexually suggestive themes throughout the series. So basically, do you have it happen once or do you have it happen throughout the whole series? Like, again, so, my, so nondescript. Also, what is mild sexual themes? What, mild? What, you make a joke about a schlong or something? I don't... Profanity. I like how this one. 
fully censored profanity, freaking Looney Tunes style. Does anyone actually do that? Uncensored or partially censored profanity. Profanity throughout the series. I guess I should do... But is that going to bump up my rating? If I do partially? I think someone says shit like once. Oh no! Let's let's do it. Let's see if it changes my rating. We're doing it live, everyone. We're doing it live. I think someone says shit once. Oh no! I think someone says shit once. Oh my god. Alcohol, drugs, or tobacco. Can't let the children see the drugs. A few mentions. Mentions? We can't even talk about it? Implied or mild consumption. Depiction of moderate to excessive consumption of tobacco drugs. Mentioning it. Why does mentioning it? Honey, go out to the store and get me some booze. Suggests uh, sensitive themes and topics. So this is the one that really bugs me about webtoons. Zero sensitive themes or topics. A few mentions of themes. Sensitive themes or topics such as self-harm, bullying, or abuse are mildly explored in some story arcs. Sensitive themes such as self-harm, bullying, or abuse explored and are consistently present throughout the series. What in the god name bullshit is this with this Loose wording of sensitive themes. Sensitive themes? That is the most loose phrasing I have ever heard of in my, in my life. Sensitive themes. I get that they are going for things like suicide, uh, abuse, uh, self-harm. So things that, that are not just like Oh, the bad guy kills the good guy. But goddamn, the most vague thing I have ever seen in my life. Sensitive themes. That could be anything. They could get you that on anything. For, for, for reference here, th the reason this is difficult to me is, like, I have a character who does unalive themselves in my comic but like that's why i had difficulty with this because this happens only once in my entire comic but there's no like that's why i had to do a mention because that's not a mention that just happens that's not a, a mention but does but that is not an entire arc that is not a story arc that is just a thing that happens because a ghost possesses someone's body and and wants to it makes the person unalive them as as is the the term that people use to get not harmed by the algorithm uh so yeah great Cool, we're still a young adult, even though we said the word shit once. Congratulations. Fantastic. So, now you know how the uh, rating system, the very flawed rating system, works for webtoons. Uh, yeah, so one, I think a rating system is good. Two, I think all web comics should have a rating system. Three, I think it should not be this vague and stupid. Four, I don't think it should impact your ad revenue. Uh, web uh, webtoons has their um rating system go into the mature category. As you saw, there's things like sexual themes, it includes things like sensitive topics, all that stuff. Uh, they blatantly state that any adult or mature content is 
highly likely to be inappropriate for the ad revenue sharing program. So if you dip into that adult uh, rating, they're probably going to cut your money. You're just going to straight up probably not make any money on their, on their uh, platform anymore. So that's what I don't think is okay. I don't think it's okay for their mandatory rating system to determine whether or not you make money anymore. I don't think that's okay. Uh, especially with how vague it is phrased and the fact that a lot of these series contain a lot of like uh, things in them that probably should be in here or should be in here. So there's a lot of uh, the rating system is flawed. Let me put it that way. Um, I feel like they should do what Tapastic does where they have a rating system for this and then every separate category of comics for this, where they still make money. Um, and also, please, for the love of God, add a visual on the front of the comic so you can see it right away before you click on it so that a little kid or a teen, which is apparently your audience scrolling through it, knows right away what they're clicking on. But yeah. Hopefully, over the next couple of months or years, things start to move in a better direction with this kind of stuff. But for now, I remain frustrated and confused. But hey, at, at least, you know, maybe online content might be better for younger audiences in the future. Maybe, possibly, who knows? <laughs>